Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, Pastor. Father John Broby, Associate Pastor. Entrance Antiphon. Forsake me not, O Lord my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help. O Lord, my strong salvation. We offer this Mass for Michael Graziano. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery, let us in a moment of silence call to mind our sins. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, we are the circumcision, we who worship through the Spirit of God, who boast in Christ Jesus and do not put our confidence in flesh, although I myself have grounds for confidence even in the flesh. If anyone else thinks he can be confident in flesh, all the more can I. Circumcised on the eighth day of the race of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrew parentage, in observance of the law of Pharisee, in zeal I persecuted the church, in righteousness based on the law I was blameless. But whatever gains I had, these I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. More more than that, I even consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. The word of the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name, rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength, seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened. And I will give you rest, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, will not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, 
he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost in just the same way I tell you. There will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. My dearly beloved, we reflect on Luke chapter 15, verse 1 to 10, that the entire passage will be chapter 15, verse 1 to 32, which presents God's steadfast love for the sinner. The Pharisees and the scribes are complaining. And what is their complaint? Jesus eats with tax collectors and sinners. Jesus associates himself with tax collectors and sinners. And they have a problem with that. Why will this man always be in the company of tax collectors and sinners? To the Pharisees and scribes, that was a scandal. That was a scandal. It was unheard of. But my dearly beloved, we do not become sinners by association. We do not become sinners by greeting people. We don't become sinners because we welcome people. We become sinners by action, by omission, and by commission. And it is for that reason Jesus, my dearly beloved, presented the two stories of a coin and a sheep. You have hundred sheep. You have lost one. And you leave the 99 and go in the woods to look for that one. There is one post I have read and I love it so much. It says, it sounds illogical, unreasonable, and senseless until you are that one. Until you are that one. It may sound illogical. It may sound unreasonable. And it may sound senseless that you have hundred, you have lost one, and you leave the 99, go search for that one. What about if you come back and the 99 are also gone? What it means is God is willing to take a risk, that kind of risk, because of one soul. He's not willing to give up on anyone. And it is the reason the woman with 10 coins, losing one, will turn the whole house upside down in search of that one. My dearly beloved, sinners are the treasures of God. Sinners are the treasures of God. And so God will do everything it takes him to look for that one, for that one, for that single soul. God will not give up on anyone. Who among us will throw a piece of diamond away because it is dirty or because it is filthy? Who among us would throw a piece of gold away, dump it in garbage because it is dirty? My dearly beloved, that piece of gold, however filthy it is, you will clean it 
and polish it and shine it. And that is why there is the sacrament of reconciliation, that which is referred to as the spiritual laundry of the soul. The spiritual laundry of the soul. That white shirt, when it is stained, you don't dump it. You dry clean it. God will keep dry cleaning us until we become perfect that he can embrace us. Don't give up on God because he will never give up on you. Shall we rise in prayer? For all priests and bishops, may God bless them with the gifts necessary to lead their flocks. Let us pray to the Lord. For government leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in establishing laws that protect the dignity and sanctity of life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. For all in this transitory life who are facing adversity, may God graciously look upon their needs and bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in our community who are discerning a vocation to religious life, may God grant them strength and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially for Michael Graziano, for whom we offer this Mass, may God soon bring them to everlasting life with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Now in the silence of our hearts, let us present our private petitions before the Lord. In this month of November, dedicated to all souls, remember to pray for a loved one, a parent, a son, a daughter, a brother, a sister, a friend who has gone ahead of us. For all our beloved who have died, let us ask our mother Mary to intercede on our behalf as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thou, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, we implore you to hear our prayers through your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give a thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the class of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks and broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more given thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of church, Judah Francis, our Pope, and William Johnson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Michael Graziano, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in each of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant peace and in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gifts for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Have a wonderful day. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.